What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, the product I'm going to be showing you is something that was sent to me free for review from Satechi, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is their aluminum clamp hub. So this is basically just a four-port uh, USB 3.0 hub that you can use, and they, they actually kind of uh, target it, or you know, they mention how it's compatible with iMacs from 2012 and above. So I'm going to be showing you guys and demonstrating how this works with my uh, my iMac. I have a 2015 um, iMac 5K iMac. So I'm going to show you guys how that works with that. Uh, so this is the box that you that, that, that when you purchase the product it comes in. And included inside here, we have the, the hub itself. And then we also have the uh, USB cable and just a little instruction guide that's also included with that as well. So the, the, the USB cable is pretty small, pretty short. But if you're going to be using this with an iMac, the, uh, the port is, is going to be right around the corner from where this, where this is, uh, attaches to. Keep in mind, you can use this with any monitor or other uh, all-in-one um, you know, computers, but they kind of target this specifically for, uh, for the iMac, only because it has that like, aluminum finish and it kind of matches along with the, the, uh, the uh, Apple look of the iMacs, the aluminum and all. But you can attach it to anything, anything that, that's not super thick as far as the monitor goes, you can clamp it down to that. Um, and so, the, like I said, the cable is very short. This one works really well with this for the iMac because the iMac port is very close to the back. If you're going to hook this up to a monitor, and if you're using a tower like a uh, desktop computer, you'll probably need a, obviously you'll need a longer USB cable. So this one will not work with that. But if you're using it with an iMac or an all-in-one computer, you should be good to go. So let me give you guys some close-ups of this product, and then talk about my experience, how it's been while using this, and give you guys my, my full thoughts on their four-port hub. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so right off the bat, you can see that it's a pretty nice-looking hub. It's, it has a little bit of weight, too, though. It's about 4 ounces, and so it looks pretty thick and pretty big. On the back, we have a screw mount, so it, this is how you loosen this up in order to adjust the clamp itself to attach to different size screens. It has some nice little silicone uh, inserts in there as well, as you can see. And actually, it does include extra inserts. I didn't show that in the, in the initial thing that comes inside the box. But they do include an extra silicone long piece and two short ones that are in the back right there. So this is what you use this clamp to adjust it, to slide, to attach to the uh, to the, the computer itself or the monitor that you're using. Then we have the USB port right there on the back, and that's what you plug right into the computer. And then you have your four USB 3.0 uh, ports on here, and then there's also LED light here in to indicator to let you know when things are plugged in and when it is actually charged up and ready to go. Now, um, the one thing I will say that's a little bit odd about this product is that um, it, it, the clamp that they're using right here does not go very high, if you know what I mean. So as you can see, there's not much distance right there for it to clamp onto your, your monitor. Now, um, Satechi has another another USB hub that's really nice. It's like a wedge-shaped hub. It retails for the same price as this one. This one retails for $29. And that one looks real nice It's on, the, on, the, on when you put it like on your desk. And I've seen a lot of other YouTubers and other people use those on their desk. And it looks real sharp. But this, the, the, you know, the, the cool part about this is it actually hooks onto your monitor and then, you know, it's, it's suspended off of the table, off the desk. The one issue I'm having with it, though, that I have not been very successful in doing is actually clamping it to my iMac. And it's because, in my opinion, I think it's because this area here that you have to actually pinch to the monitor is not very tall. I think if they were a little bit taller and a little bit higher, they would be a lot, they would be, allow you to clamp. Because what happens is when it clamps onto the monitor, and I'm going to give you guys a demonstration of what, what I'm talking about in just a second. When it clamps into the monitor, you have so much weight hanging on the bottom there that all you have to do is push it and it snaps right off. So, so far, my experience with the Satechi USB clamp hub has not been very positive. Let's go over to the computer and to my iMac, and let me show you what it is I'm, that I'm talking about. All right, guys, so here we have, I have my 27-inch uh, 5K iMac right here. And so this is, like I said, they, they say on their website that it works with 2012 and newer iMacs. And so that's what I have right here, 27-inch iMac. Now, as you guys know, with the new iMacs, that the, the thinner ones, that the back is curved. You can see the curve right there. It has like a natural curve to the back. The front is flat, but the back is curved. It's like a wedge shaped, like a triangle almost, okay? So the issue that you have when trying to connect something like this to something that on the back of it is curving, it doesn't completely grab onto it. So let me show you here. So you slide it open, and if you, as you tighten that up, and another thing, this is thumb screws. It's kind of hard to get a super tight grip on it when you're, as you're tightening it up. You only go so tight. So that feels really tight right there. Like it feels like it's a good grip. So even right there, you can see that little, the, see in the shadow there, the, the black area? So it's not completely gripping onto the iMac. And trust me, I've, I've moved this on different spots of it, not just the edge, but in the center, in different places. And, and because of that, when you let go of it, see how it's already, there you go. 
it falls off. That's exactly what it does to me every single time. I have yet to have it sit on there and not fall off of there. And I'm not sure what exactly I would need to do in order to get this to work with what, what's included with it. But no matter how you try to attach it to there, it does not stay clamped on. It's very odd. Like I said, I think of these, if this piece right here was a little bit taller, a little bit higher, if both of them were a little bit higher so they can grab onto a little bit more, I think it would hold on. And the thing is, even if I was able to clamp it onto there, there's so much weight underneath it that all you have to do is press on it one time to plug something into it, and it would just it would probably just pop right off and roll right off and would stay on there. So I'm a little disappointed with the Satechi uh, clamp USB port. Now, don't get me wrong. Satechi has some really, really cool, unique, innovative products on their website. I'm not slamming the company at all. I'm just not really happy with this particular product. They do have a really cool, like I said, a hub, a really cool like wedge-shaped hub that you put on top of the desk, and that looks really nice. But when it comes to using this particular hub with an iMac, I would not recommend it. That has been my, my experience has not been that positive with it. So one thing I want you guys to keep in mind, think about it. If you're attaching it to a monitor that is square, that doesn't have a rounded back like the IMAX, it attaches a little bit better, but still because of that minimal distance you have right there that's actually clamping onto it, it can still pop off and roll off pretty easily after a while, after plugging the USBs into it constantly. So... So that's just my experience with the uh, the Satechi Hub, the Clamp Hub. And uh, if you guys have had a better experience with this, or maybe if I'm doing something wrong, that you, maybe if you've figured out a way to get it to work a little better, please post those down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys, how your experience has been while using this. If you have any questions about what you've seen so far, post them down below. I'll get back to you guys as quickly as possible. I answer all the comments on all of my videos. And uh, just post them down, and I'll, I'll get, back, get back to you as quickly as I can. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, make sure you stop by geeksterlabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review.